Hi friends, welcome to another video of Just Being Earnest. In today's video, I'm going to share the latest fourth quarter 2020 and financial year end 2020 updates that IFAS just released and also other business updates for IFAS. Before I start, hope you can give a like for this video and also subscribe to my channel. And let's begin. Let us now look at the financial statement for 31st December 2020. On the middle left, you can see that for the fourth quarter 2020, Revenue has increased by 41.6% from 33 million to 47 million. And then at the bottom, profits for the company for fourth quarter 2020 has increased from 2.9 million to 6.7 million, which is an increase of 129%. On the top right, on the annual level, the group revenue has increased from 125 million to 169 million, which is a change of 35%. And for the net profit for the year, for the financial year 2020, profits has increased by 125% from 9.3 million in 2019 to 20.9 million in 2020. So looking at the breakdown of the revenue between financial year 2019 to financial year 2020, even though the revenue for the company has only increased by 35.5%, the profit after tax for IFAS has increased by a remarkable 125.3%. So why is it that the profit after tax is able to increase by so much even though the revenue has only increased by such a small amount? So the thing about IFAS is that they have this thing called the operational leverage. From Investopedia, operational leverage is whereby a company such as Microsoft, the bulk of their costs is structured and fixed and limited to upfront development and marketing costs. So whether it sells one copy or 10 million copies of the latest Windows software, Microsoft costs remain basically unchanged. So once the company has sold enough copy to cover its fixed costs, every additional dollar of sales revenue will add into its bottom line. In other words, Microsoft possesses remarkably high operational leverage. On the other hand, a retailer such as Walmart demonstrates relatively low operating leverage. The company has fairly low level of fixed costs while its variable costs are large. Merchandise inventory represents Walmart's biggest costs. For each product sales that Walmart brings in, the company has to pay for the supply of goods as a result. Walmart's cost of goods sold continue to rise as sale revenue increase. So in case if it's too much words for you, I have broken down the into this chart here, whereby it shows you what is the difference between the high operating leverage and the low operating leverage. For the high operating leverage, you can see that the total cost for the company is remained relatively low as compared to the increase in the revenue. However, if you look at the low operating leverage chart, you can see that the total cost increases a lot while the revenue increases as well. So because IFAS is a digital company, the amount of records to incur additional sales doesn't increase a lot as compared to a company that is in the retail sector. This is the advantage of having a digital company. In this article by The Age Singapore, IFAS CEO was recently interviewed whereby he mentioned that IFAS was aiming for the Malaysia Digital Bank license. The plans for Malaysia Digital Banking Framework were first announced in March 2019. Malaysia Central Bank was announced on 31st December 2020 that up to five licenses will be issued to successful applicants in first quarter 2022. So in the event if IFAS were to be successfully gotten this digital banking license, it will actually be a huge gain to their business and increase in the revenue as well. And that's all for today's video. Hope you learned something new today about IFAS. Do give a like and subscribe to my channel. You can also let me know what you want to watch and who knows I will do a video about it. Have a great day ahead and bye bye.